Welcome back to the Lost Cause Ranch. As you see, we got some interesting contraption going on here. What we have today is an Amazon winch from x -Bowl. That guy's gonna go on the budget Overland LR4. But before we put it on there, we have to test the guy out. So we got the Risco Disco. This is the parts discovery that we're gonna use for a five-speed swap. We have our x -Bowl Amazon winch. This guy was just 300-ish dollars. It's gonna go on the Overland Land Rover. We're gonna do a hidden winch on that guy, but needed to test it out here first. So, we have a tree. And as you see, these guys are getting marked out to get pulled down anyways. So why not see if the winch is up to the task of lifting a Discovery? So we have three scenarios that are gonna happen here. The winch is gonna break. It is a cheap one after all. The tree's gonna come down, it's got a little bit of a lean to it. Or the bumper is going to come off the Discovery. Either way, it should be interesting. I mean, I guess there is four scenarios. One of them being it actually all works out and just kind of lifts the Discovery up. I don't know if we have enough room to get it off the ground or not, but I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Also, don't forget to stick around to the end of the video. We have the winner of the hat giveaway along with another hat giveaway. So be sure to check that out at the end. So we're going to do this proper here, and before we test it out, we are going to pre-tension the winch line here. We'll just drag that guy along. So that job is done. Now we wouldn't want to half-ass this very scientific test by any means. So, all right, so this guy has a remote winch control, so we're going to stand well back and operate this jobber. Hopefully it doesn't end up in the road. That wouldn't be great. All right, we'll find out. All right, we're gonna try it without running it, but seems that it doesn't have enough juice to do it with it off, so we'll fire it up. What's worse can happen, lock up. See if it drags it forward at all. And that's where it likes to die. So I think that's what we're gonna get out of this guy. The Discovery dies at about a 45 degree angle. We bump the idle and that's that's just what it has. I mean, it, it does need head gaskets. It's probably down on compression. It can't handle winch power. But the winch, the winch is holding up good so far. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Good way to change your oil. We got some good lift there. That ARB tree saver saved the tree. The tree didn't fall. That was good. So I guess we go with scenario four. I wouldn't have thought. I mean, we didn't get it all the way off the ground. Limitations of the $1,400 Discovery. That $300 Amazon winch on a $60 receiver mount winch plate from Amazon did the job. I think I'm fine with putting it on the LR4 now. I mean, maybe it'll never work again after doing this, but it was fun. I'm gonna move from out beneath that tree. So the battery uh, is a little bit dead on the Risco Disco and th this is this is our letting it down process. We get eighth inch at a time. We'll be here for a week. 
So it's really not safe to be under there, you know, because it's lifted up, but we did it quick, so it doesn't matter. All right, she's on the ground. I'll put her in gear. I was kind of hoping the tree would fall. Then we wouldn't have to go up and unhook it up there because it's coming down anyways. I guess I just have to use a chainsaw. Do it the old fashioned way. All right, so we're back on the ground. Um, we'll have to revisit this in the future. Maybe try and get a couple batteries in the Discovery since one wasn't enough juice. But all in all, the winch worked decent enough for it. The only casualty today was my pants. Sad day, sad day for the khakis. But either way, we'll fab up a mount for the LR4. That one there. And get that guy tucked in the bumper. So it was just a X-Bowl winch from Amazon, a 10,000 pound jobber synthetic line. I think it was 340 some odd dollars. Seemed to do all right there. And then we just had a 60 some dollar carrier for the hitch on the front bumper of the Disco. Nothing broke. If you guys would be interested in us jerry-rigging up some more battery power on it so we could actually get it hung on there. If you guys wanna see that, we'll do it. Otherwise, I'm not gonna bother wasting the time on the Risco Disco to do that. But yeah, just let me know down below. Today, we were just messing around. Didn't wanna invest a ton of time in that, but wanted to see how the winch would handle with the Discovery dying once it hit 45 degrees or so. It didn't work out quite the way I wanted, but that's the way she goes sometimes. But on to the hat giveaway, which involved this last week. We asked what should we paint the little Snow Pusher 753 Bobcat. And got a lot of interesting combinations and appreciate everyone. We're gonna go with Bob Kofer's suggestion of Zambezi Silver, where the white is, black roof, and some green wheels. I think that'll look slick. And that is thanks to T. Harper. He brought some sense into me. And being I want to upgrade to something else, he said I should do something that is resellable. I didn't want to do black. So we'll do silver, which should be a pretty neutral color. So I'm going to send out some stickers to T. Harper as a consolation prize, along with flawed off-road, because he was pretty close with silver, black, and blue wheels. But we're going to go green. So flawed off-road, we'll get some stickers. Bob Kofer hat, T. Harper stickers. And we're gonna give another one of these hats away. All you gotta do is like this video and then go over and like our Instagram page at Lost Cause Ranch and we'll pick someone who likes the Instagram page on next week's video. So make sure to stay tuned for that and we'll figure out another giveaway to give another hat. We're gonna do eight of these hats in a row, so one each week. Appreciate you guys watching and we will catch you on the next one.